welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is a how i knew that i was pregnant before taking a pregnancy test i myself search for these kind of videos a lot when we were uh, trying to conceive and i find it very interesting all of the different symptoms that women experience and uh, yeah i thought i share with you the symptoms that i had um, in my first trimester so before i took a pregnancy test and also after the first uh, weeks in the first trimester so maybe if you are trying to conceive or you are wondering if you are pregnant uh, this video might be helpful or maybe you are just very curious and um, that's also possible i'm currently in my third trimester and i am pregnant with a baby boy and as you can see i'm sitting here in the nursery and today they decided to do a power cut so the windows are open it's very very hot so excuse the background noise in this video uh, but yeah if you're excited for a new video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and of course if you're new here on my channel welcome i'm a dutch girl and i'm living in marmaris turkey and i make a lot of lifestyle related videos vlogs and also pregnancy so if you like that make sure you subscribe and now let's get started so it took us a little over a year uh, to conceive i did some pregnancy tests the first couple of months but i just found it very stressful so i stopped taking them but when i experienced these uh, symptoms i just felt the need to take one um, i was a few days late but my cycle is very irregular so yeah i will share with you all of these symptoms that i experienced so the first symptom that i had was light cramping and it felt like i was about to get my period but they were a bit different and this is quite ha quite hard to explain and usually when i'm about to get my period i also have some light cramping but these felt like like little knives like little bites um quite hard to explain but yeah light cramping i definitely experienced then I got lots of acne here on my cheeks and also on my chin and I usually struggled with some acne on my forehead but I never really had it here on my cheek and that was something that my mom noticed as well um, when I told her that I was pregnant she was like I thought so because you had lots of acne everywhere and maybe that's a symptom that you get acne on different places or maybe you never struggle with acne and then all of a sudden you have lots of it so that's something that i experienced in my first trimester till week 12 i guess lots of acne on my cheeks and chin area okay so this is a very personal one but i want to mention it because um yeah we are all women here <laughs> So I usually also experience sensitive breasts uh, before I get my period but this was very different and this was I think the main thing that I thought okay I am pregnant. I felt like little um, bites I think that's the best way to describe it because usually when I'm about to get my period they feel just heavy and sensitive but now i experience like all little bites and that's the best way i can describe it like it was a very different kind of pain and this was something that i was like oh this is very different something that i never felt before and i guess you know your body the best so if you experience something very different that might be a sign uh, that you are pregnant then i had a bloated belly and this is something that i also struggle with sometimes but um yeah i definitely experienced a bloated belly before i took a pregnancy test like i felt it was very heavy bloated um yeah what else can i say about that so bloated belly then i also experienced some nausea before i took a pregnancy test so that's very early like week four or five um which is maybe a bit early for nausea but i definitely experienced it especially um some smells that i couldn't stand anymore i didn't like anything fried or mushrooms which i usually love um, i thank god i can eat them again but in the first trimester i just hated them and i also hated the smell of doner uh, meat doner chicken doner i still like but meat doner i still can't see or smell 
So that was something also that I noticed um, nausea. So very early on, but you can definitely experience it. Then I was very emotional and I also had lots of intense dreams. I know again, when you're about to get your period, you can experience these things. But I was have very, very intense dreams and I was just not feeling like myself before I took the test. I also said that in um, the video where I take the pregnancy test that I just didn't feel like myself. And um, yeah, I was just emotional, tired and um, yeah, just feeling not very well. A lot of them I experienced the whole first trimester like nausea, bloated belly, light cramping maybe till week seven um acne i definitely had the whole first trimester as you can see it's now all gone which i'm very happy about and then like i already mentioned i didn't want to eat any mushrooms or fried foods uh crisps which i usually love but i just couldn't stand them and i wanted to eat lots of fruits the first trimester uh, lots of light things like yogurts and all of that and I was also very tired. I think from week six, I started to become very, very tired till um, week 12, I would say that I was very tired. The second trimester, I felt a lot better. I felt that I had lots of energy, but now that I'm again in my third trimester, I'm very tired again. But my doctor told me that in the first and in the third trimester, it's very common to feel um, very tired, that you don't have any energy. So because I experienced all of these symptoms, that was actually the reason that I decided to take a pregnancy test. Like I already said, I just um, didn't want to take one every single month because it drove me crazy. But these symptoms were the reason that I thought, okay, I just need to take one. Um, so yeah, I really hope this was helpful for you or maybe you were just curious. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you like to see more pregnancy related videos, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!